The focus now for the North American International Auto Show is on the business end of the auto industry. This is one of the industry preview days. It means those that work inside the industry can get their hands on the very latest car models that we saw revealed across those two media preview days. Now, one of the key topics of discussion here in Detroit is focused on autonomous vehicles. And some believe, some analysts believe, that that could well become a commercial reality much sooner than expected. These are the latest automobiles set to hit showrooms across the globe. The focus for most car makers remains on the present. But it would appear the future has now also arrived with autonomous vehicles on a commercial level set to become a reality. I think 2018 is going to be remembered as the year when these science projects start to turn into commercial reality. Uh, our company alone is going to deliver over 2 million uh, autonomous vehicles this year that are going to start saving lives you know, here today. Well, all across this event, there are examples of that autonomous vision. This is an autonomous truck. No driver at the front means there's more space for goods at the back. The company says the trucks will be in operation on Swedish roads later this year, having already signed a deal with a supermarket chain to deliver goods to stores. The truck will work autonomously, although it can be controlled remotely should any issue occur. Instead of having the driver in this driving seat, we remove it and it's now controlled remotely. So we are using autonomous drive and self-driving, but we also have still have the op the operator and remote control of the vehicle. In the US, General Motors hopes to launch a fleet of robo-taxis next year, while Ford will advance the testing of self-driving cars this year, ahead of a ramping up to full-scale production. Listen, we're, we're looking at autonomy as an opportunity. Our timing for launch, actually, at scale is uh, still in three years, in 2021, but we have vehicles already being tested that you'll see them in different places in, um, in the U.S. Uh, today. The pace has left governments in a scramble to keep up. U.S. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao says the federal government will introduce updated autonomous guidelines this summer in an effort to modernize regulations. But she warned that more still needs to be done to win over public opinion. Well, 71 percent of uh, the public feel some kind of anxiety about automated driving systems, autonomous vehicles. And it's really incumbent upon the manufacturers and the high-tech industry to assuage those concerns. Uh, consumer acceptance will be the constraint to their growth. But not everyone is convinced. Some warn that the pace is too fast and that safety issues cannot be swept aside. Well, there are uh, different levels of autonomous cars, and the auto industry is saying we're jumping right into level four, which means no brake pedals, no steering wheel, uh, you know, no um, uh, gas pedal. A and so therefore we need an exemption from safety standards. Well, that's not, I don't think that's right. In many ways, this is almost like an attempt to deregulate auto safety for the first time since 1966 when the law was first passed. So I I'm very uh, concerned about that. For many, autonomous cars remains the stuff of science fiction. But the message from this auto show is clear. The era of driverless vehicles has arrived.